2017 Subaru Impreza sedan. Subaru's former runt aims to be the Asian Audi built in America. Highs and lows. Highs. Improved design inside and out, handling and steering feel, space and quiet comfort. Lows. Not much power, manual transmission, not yet available, still has only 5 cogs. Specifications. Vehicle type. Front engine, all-wheel drive, 5-passenger, 4-door sedan. Estimated base prices. 2.0i, $19,715. 2.0i premium, $22,015. 2.0i sport, $22,815. 2.0i limited, $24,915. Engine type. Do C16 valve flat 4, aluminum block and heads, direct fuel injection. Displacement. 122 cu in, 1,995 cubic centimeters. Power, 152 hp at 6,000 rpm. Torque. 145 lbft at 4000 rpm transmissions 5 speed manual continuously variable automatic with manual shifting mode dimensions wheelbase 105.1 in length 182.1 in width 70.0 in height 57.3 in passenger volume 97 to 100 cu foot curb weight c slash d est 3050 to 3150 pounds performance c slash d est 0 to 60 miles per hour 8.5 to 8.9 sec 0 to 100 miles per hour 25.4 to 27.0 sec standing one fourth mile 16.5 to 16.9 SEC. Top speed, 120 miles per hour. Fuel economy, C slash D E S T. EPA combined slash city slash highway driving, 3032 slash 27 dash 28 slash 36 38 MPG. No doubt, Subaru has had some very good years of late. Annual sales that had been burbling along at around 200,000 started swelling in 2008, after an overhaul of the company's product line. Subaru steamrollered right through the recession, and in 2012-2013, when another product makeover gelled with the recovering economy to loft the brand even higher, up to the circus 600,000 market currently enjoys. And Subaru hasn't squandered the profits drinking booze and rolling dice. Instead, it has plowed a significant pile of that enhanced revenue into an all-new, soon-to-be ubiquitous architecture given the sexy name of Subaru Global Platform. It makes its debut inside the 2017 Impreza, which now comes exclusively from Subaru's U.S. Plant in Indiana We're told that 95% of the Impreza is new, from the curved skeletal members baked into the floor and designed to better manage impact pulses, to the super stiff firewall that laughs at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's narrow offset crash test, to the stouter yet no heavier suspension subframes, to the flowing exterior lines. Those looking to Subaru for design leadership, like those looking to the San Diego Padres for a World Series victory, will be disappointed yet again. But the new Impreza, unlike the bug-eyed monsters of the past, is handsome and sleek in a conventional way and drives like a worthy sequel from the company that brought you the BRZ and the Toyota 86. The Gold Wheels era is so over. Subaru has wanted to push the Impreza up the social scale ever since it stopped offering Gold Wheels on the ST. The past is the past, and Subaru wants the all-wheel drive only Impreza to be thought of not as a hooligans proto rally car but as a cut price Audi, with dynamic sophistication to match. All the pieces haven't really fallen into place until now, bedeviled as the Impreza was by chintzy no-brand electronics and a bargain basement feel. Now, 
With sedan and hatchback bodies available on a stiff new platform, a stick shift offered in the base and upper sport trims, options such as a Harman slash Cardan stereo and an 8.0-inch full-color high-res touchscreen with a host of apps including Apple CarPlay, and a price escalator that starts with the base $19,715 2.0 i manual and ends with the $24,915 limited automatic, the Impreza is gunning up to be a serious challenger to the Honda Civic and the Mazda 3, two compacts we consider as good. Alternatives for those who can't or won't pay for an Audi A3. It plays out on the road. Starting in the Padre's backyard, we headed to the beautifully undulating hinterlands just north of the Mexican border to sample the Impreza sedan. Sadly, although the new Impreza is on sale now, manual transmission cars won't be available until this coming January or February. So it was the updated 2.0 liter direct injected FB20 Boxer 4, parked in front of the CVT and electromechanical all wheel drive, that we jockeyed. Manual still use a viscous coupling for the odd. Rated at 152 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 145 lb-ft of torque at 4,000 RPM, the Peaky, normally aspirated 2.0 is not exactly ate up with power despite its lofty 12.5 colon 1 compression ratio. The power ratings are about on PAR with the other base engines in compact class competitors. Unlike Honda or Mazda, however, Subaru does not, yet, offer an upgrade engine as you climb the Impreza's trim levels. This lone 2.0 liter is what you get, although the revised FB20 does seem a smidge more refined and smoother than boxers of yore. Perhaps it's just the new Impreza's additional sound insulation. But after it chugga chugga chuggas to life in that particular loping Subaru way, the four pot sounds good and healthy and has a taste for revs, which you'll need if you wish to ascend hills with any sort of alacrity. In Honda fashion, the Subaru CVT mimics a step gear automatic at higher throttle inputs, revving up and then shifting to a new, taller ratio. Most owners will never know it's a CVT, and it does an excellent job of keeping the engine in the fattest part of its somewhat lean torque band. Where the Impreza really starts to feel like an Audi is in the corners. Heavily rethought electrically assisted power steering takes the ratio down from 16.0 colon 1 in the old car to 13.0 colon 1, the same as in the BRZ. The quicker steering combined with sophisticated damping that clips the body motion but also soaks up the impacts with a tolerant compliance proves again that, as with the BRZ, Subaru's people know how to tune a suspension. Steering response and on-center certainty were heavily focused on in the platform's development, and Subaru trotted out several charts to proudly prove that it has achieved success. As it turns out, the Impreza is not just a paper tiger, the steering wheel feels good in your hands, and the car scribes neat, clean lines to the apexes. Torque vectoring on the sport trim only heightens the car's eagerness to turn and undoubtedly reduces the understeer inherent in all-wheel drivers pushed to the limit. More spacious and more plush. Much of the Impreza's incremental dimensional growth goes toward making the cabin larger. It's 1.1 inches wider at the front seats, which move farther apart, and 1.3 inches wider at the rear seat, with the wheelbase growing an inch to increase legroom in back. The rear shock towers have been pushed farther apart to open up more room in the trunk, and the rear doors have larger apertures. The cockpit layout is Subaru conventional, with a couple of large dials for the speedo and touch and bifurcated display screens in the center as well as a third display in the cluster. It's a thoroughly modern if not a particularly adventurous design, but then, we're talking Subaru. The product planner on hand couldn't resist mentioning that the new Impreza features the first new interior door handle Subaru has offered in 17 years. So there's that. If you move up to the sport and limited trim levels, the upholstery gets noticeably fancier, with French stitching on the seats, leather is an option, and dashes of carbon fiber-like trim on the sport. Oddly for a company with such a great sporting history, Subaru says it wants to be thought of first and foremost as the safety choice, which is why eyesight, 
its own suite of automated safety systems including adaptive cruise control and pre-collision braking, is featured prominently. Apparently, Subaru's growing legions of followers say safety is a big reason they buy the all-wheel driven cars, plus reliability and good resale value. Whatever the reasons, it seems to be working.